Pretty people, what's up? It's Devil Wayne. I'm back to do another repotting video. Um, last time I did one, I did a lot of my bigger plants that really needed some help. And in this video, I'm going to get to my smaller plants. So I'm going to use my table that's right here, right out of frame. Um, I'm going to talk about my smaller plants that also need just some refreshing. They need more space. I have really been putting this off, but I want to get it done before it's just so cold. I don't want to do anything to them. I've said before, it doesn't really matter what season you repot your plants, but um, I just don't want to put it off any longer. So anyways, let's get going. The first plant I'm actually going to repot is um, my Hoya curtsii. This one I've had for probably two years. I don't think I ever took it out of the nursery pot. Ooh, there's a little bit of water in it, hold on. So this guy has never left his nursery pot. I um, really put off repotting my Hoyas because they're more likely to bloom when they're root bound, but I have not seen any peduncles on this guy and it doesn't hold water very well in a pot this tiny and I'm not really going to be upscaling it that much so I think this will be a good little decision. It's been just sitting in here for a while and I really like the gold with it. It looks really cute. <clears throat> also I'm just going to use mostly normal potting mix for this. Um, I do have another blend I could use that I used in my last video but I'm just kind of lazy right now. Um, and I just vacuumed and I don't want to make a mess. And then let's see these roots. Ooh. Not too root bound. I don't know if you can see it. Not too bad but this will be better um because then i won't have to do this for a really long time until she actually blooms there's actually some sap on her which that's interesting next to begonias though i think hoyas are i've definitely said this before one of my favorite varieties i haven't been spending as much money getting plants um I'm trying to get back into collecting different varieties, but I have to be very conscious of like where I'm going to put them because I don't have as much natural light and space as I did in my last apartment. So I'm trying not to um, overdo it, <laughs> but that should be pretty good. And here's Salty. <laughs> Anyways, here is my Hoya curtsii. She lives in my greenhouse cabinet. I have not had any issues with this Hoya. I've never had issues really with any of my Hoya. None of them have died. The only thing that's kind of annoying is they're really slow to propagate. So I usually don't do that, but I want to do that more. I should. Um, maybe I'll do it in my next video because I do want to do a propagating video because some of my plants are getting really lanky. So you might see a little cutting of this guy soon. But anyways, let's go on to my next tiny plant. Okay, this one isn't like super tiny, but this is my Neon Pothos. She's gotten super long. Um, so I've never repotted this one either. I've had this one for like three years, I think now. and. Honestly, I'm just kind of afraid that she's gonna give out on me at some point because she really needs a refresh on her soil. So I'm gonna stick her just in this normal one that's not hanging. I'll probably make macrame or something for it in the long run. Um, it'll be nice to have this pot free again because then I can use it for a different trailing plant and let that one get outrageously long too. So. <laughs> This is one that I think I just got at like Lowe's too. I try to get most of my plants at my local nurseries just because I like to support them. And also they're usually way healthier. Whenever I get a plant at Lowe's, I definitely always get either thrips or spider mites. 
and it's just a total mess with my collection so even if i see one that's cheap there that i want to get i try and force myself to not get it okay this one's roots are have to be crazy i would think it also has weird fake moss on the top but it could be worse let's see how i can get her out of here is so in here. I think I'm just gonna cut the rope maybe even and replace it later. Whoa! Look at that root. <laughs> yeah, I would say this guy needed a repotting. Oh my god. It's growing out of it. So yeah, pretty root bound. <laughs> this is definitely a great starter plant though. Like like I said, I have done virtually nothing to this plant and I've never had any issues with her. I don't think she's ever even had a pest. I am going to leave the moss on it too because honestly I think there's just some aerial roots that like this. <laughs> That are just like in the moss now. I don't want to try and figure out how to get all those out. Um, so I think the moss is just going to be a part of this plant now. Okay, that seems pretty good. Here she is. I think she's going to go on top of this cabinet probably right here or in my living room somewhere. Definitely recommend this plant if you are a beginner. She's lasted forever for me. It's also gotten some pretty cool songs. <laughs> It's actually gotten some pretty cool little variegation on it too, which I didn't realize this plant could do. Um, I'm kind of tempted to cut off those pieces and grow a new plant from it to see if I can get a more interesting variety going. But anyways, I'm going to grab my next plant. The next plant that I'm going to repot is my donkey tail succulent. This one didn't do much for me for a while, then it put out this new growth. It's a pretty slow grower and I need it to be in something that can like hold more moisture because she dries out really fast. But the only thing I have that's a good size right now is my um, nursery pot. I guess I could put it in this hanging one. That could maybe be kind of cute. Maybe that would be better because these can trail pretty long. What if I do that? Also, the thing I love about succulents is if the little leaves fall off, I just throw it back in and it'll add to the plant see how this guy comes out. So I'm kind of nervous. It feels pretty fragile. Ah. Okay. This guy definitely needed some more TLC, so we'll see how this does. There'll be a lot of little propagations on the top, so I'll update you guys on how those look. Before when I started with plants, I kind of didn't care if they were in a nursery pot or not, but now I kind of feel like I want them to be more styled. I would also prefer to them to for them to have like a cohesive look, but I think that's asking too much of me right now. I think right now, as long as they're all in an actual pot, that's a big step up for me. And then later on tonight, I'm gonna redo the string on this too, and I'll hang it back up on this. It was like, yeah. it was like right here, so it'll probably just go right back there. So yeah, lots of little propagations. But honestly, it looks pretty cute. If it's gets really big and hangs down the entire thing that would actually be so cool so i'm glad i chose this pot um next up i think i'll do my other succulent I'm trying to think if there's any other ones that i need to do before because i'm trying to kind of musical chairs these pots around okay i remembered another one that i had to do too this is one that has been living in my ikea greenhouse cabinet too it is my purple um, Tritoscantia or Wandering Jew. It's in a pot that also came from Lowe's like a long time ago. It's pretty cute, but I'm going to put it in a little bit of a bigger pot right here, this cube one. And it's not gonna live in my greenhouse cabinet anymore because it is taking up too much space. So I think I'm gonna put it alone somewhere, maybe in my bedroom or the living room because the color is too pretty to have hidden and She's just getting too chonky. Tratoscantia are also 
another really nice beginner plant. This one I have not had for that long. This one I've had for, I would say only a few months. And when I bought it, it was a little terrarium sized pot, like smaller than this. And now it's gigantic. So if you just want a plant that'll get big really fast, go for this guy. Ooh yeah, that is a nice little root bound plant. I do have a white variety of this plant too, but it doesn't actually look as well. Um, I think it's because it's been outside of my IKEA greenhouse cabinet and the humidity in my place has gotten really low. Since I'm in New England and it's starting to get pretty cold out, it gets very dry here in the winter. Honestly, a beautiful purple. I'm glad to get it out of the cabinet though because I have a purple grow light in there right now and you don't even get to see like the amazing pinkish purple color when it's in there. It just looks like a normal variety. But it's actually very vibrant, which I'm kind of surprised about. It has some really dark leaves. Well, there's at least one more plant that I need to do, so. Okay, so I figured out what I'm gonna do. I have this struggling bromeliad right here and I want to repot this, I think it's a blue thistle succulent. I might have the name wrong, I haven't looked at it in a while. But um, this one would do better in here and I need to cut down this bromeliad anyways cause she's gonna probably die if I leave this older growth on there. So I'm gonna try and just like kind of dissect this guy. I've never propagated a bromeliad, but my guess is I can just break off this old piece. I'm just gonna cut off chunk here that's like dying. If my scissors can work. There we go. That might actually work for this. And if this doesn't work um, and this plant dies, that's okay. This was a pretty cheap plant that I got and you can find you can find bromeliads at a lot of different stores. They're really not that uncommon. I think I just kind of neglect mine but I've never I think I've maybe gotten it to bloom once since I got it. But I never really looked into how often they do that and like the proper care and stuff. Well, we'll see how that guy does. And then now I'm going to put my blue thistle succulent into this. Oh, this one I haven't repotted since I got it as a little terrarium plant. So the pot was even smaller than this before and it's been in this for like at least a year. I'm gonna spray this plant down with some neem oil after this because I think I have some pests on my cacti. So I'm not gonna reuse that pot yet. This will probably be the last one I do and I'm gonna spray down my plants after seeing that. No! This guy's gonna stay away from some of my other plants, but here is my blue thistle. Okay guys, that's gonna do it for this video. I know I didn't talk about my plants that much. I've just kind of been trying to repot and film what I can. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to subscribe and follow me on Instagram at Double Wing Begonia or on TikTok at Double Wing Begonia. Um, I'm hoping to put out a video once a week right after I'm done filming this. I'm going to edit my video and have some soup and just hang out, clean up, spray down my plants. But I'm glad you guys came to watch this video. Hopefully you got some plant chores done too. And I will see you.